next stop on the Wild West vacay is Houston, Texas, before it became a COVID-19 hotspot. We spent a lot of time at the campground and made a quick trip into the city to see some sights and a day trip down to Galveston Beach. We also got to spend a little bit of time visiting with Michelle's cousins, Robin and Rhonda. Fortunately, the beach was pretty empty the day we were there, so we just got to take a nice long walk on the beach. Hey there, we are at the San Jacinto Riverfront RV Resort, um, which is just east. Uh, I think we're east yeah, of just, Houston. East Maybe of we'll Houston. put a map up here. Um, and this is a really nice park. Uh, sites are kind of close together, but uh, I mean, like most private uh, campgrounds. And right. we'll show you that. Okay, so first of all, notice this uh, little RV here behind us has their little deck. Oh, but I'll, I'll show you down this part. row. I'll show you down this row here. So here's a row of RVs. So you can see um, they're a little close, but it's not terrible. Uh, but some Every... super nice amenities. Wait, look, wait, do you see it right there in that RV site? Yes, that every is a hot tub. Every RV spot has well. No, not, not every. One. The first, we got one Several without rows. even knowing it. The, there are a lot of RV um, sites with a little uh, hot tub. So hello, a hot tub in your own now, campsite, but there's no picnic table. The oh. high today is 94. It's hot. And, and we thought, why would we ever want a hot tub? But about 10 o'clock at night, cools when the off. Sun's down, it's actually quite nice. But here's the other real attraction to uh, San Jacinto Riverfront RV Resort. Guess what? There's a river. And the San Jacinto River is pretty. Um, it's kind of different. It's not necessarily what you expect. Here it is. 
and because of course we're in Houston, so somewhere over here, I don't know if you can see him in the picture or not, um, there are just, you know, all the Houston, oh, well here, I'll go this way, and you can see the barges because of the Houston oil refineries. And there's a little fishing pier, do some fishing, and we are heading to the pool. So we're gonna enjoy a dip in the infinity pool that overlooks the water. So we are in the hot tub, which is uh, fortunately not turned on. So the water is actually pool temperature, but it's nice to just sit in the water. You can see the pool right here behind us. Yeah, it's an infinity pool, which looks like if you're at the right angle, I know it's gonna get the camera right. If you're at the there right we go. angle, it looks like it's going into <laughs> a pickup a truck, truck that's, that's in the water. In the river. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a nice vibe to it. I mean, the, the thing I like about it is that it's 18 or older. They have a second pool for kids. So this is just kind of nice because uh, there aren't kids. Um, and if yeah. you're if you're traveling without kids, it's kind of nice. And important things, there's some bathrooms over there. Yeah. There's a clubhouse over here, which apparently they have events at sometimes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, who cares that it's 94 degrees and the heat index is 107 when you're sitting in cold pool water. Yeah, it's nice. And here we're coming up to our site. So we're on the end. And for some reason here on our site, What's like that on all the ends? And on all of the end sites, our hot tub is over here on the wrong side. The only thing we really don't like about this site is that street light. Because when it comes on here in the hot tub, there's just a lot of light and we just would rather it to be not quite so bright out here. And we're starting to get a beautiful sunset tonight. How to stop an argument while camping. He said, she said. Well, Michelle says. I think the most important thing is to understand that one, I'm always right. And so when Brian gets to that point where he's frustrating me because he's trying to prove a point that I know is not true. See, I'm going to giggle through all of this. Um, when I'm trying to end an argument, because it's time, either the argument's gone on too long or I already knew I was right and Brian is frustrating me, I just say, I love you. And for some reason that shuts him up. That's how you end an argument. How to end an argument, he said, she said version. Brian says. So first of all, you have to realize, we already both know that I'm right. Oh. Hey, I didn't talk while you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just have to remember a song. She's never wrong, she just changes her mind. Yes. But then there's also, whenever it gets to the point where I just, I'm done with the argument because I know I've actually already won. I love you. I just finally <laughs> say, you look very, very pretty tonight. What's that from? Uh, the Kathy and Mo show. Tell me more. Kathy, Najimi, uh, and, Mo and Mo somebody. Oh, I forgot her last name. Two okay. women show. And, and there's a great skit where um, they're in a bar and she just, uh, the one character keeps saying, you look very, very pretty tonight. So, so it's kind of our line. It's kind of my line for Michelle. Because she always looks very, very pretty. <laughs> Whenever I know she's just always. over the top being ridiculous in a fight, I just look at her and say, very, very pretty tonight. And I say, I love you. I'm out. <laughs> Here we go. We got just the right angle. So it looks like we're in the river. Um, oh, why are those things in the river? <laughs> <laughs>